So we're going to follow from the last video. We're going to do that same problem, only this time use the calculator to calculate those answers for us. So just to recall, we had 12 students in the class. We had three different problems that we, that we were working on. Um, if you choose four for just a summer council, just a committee, and we determined that was a combination. If you're picking first, second, and third place, this arrow is sassy, isn't it? If you're picking first, second, and third place, that made it a permutation. And then a seating chart. Also a permutation, because where you place people matters, but this one, you're using all 12 people, whereas this one, you're only taking three, this one, you're taking four. So just to remind you of the formulas that we used for those, for part A, um, it was a combination. We had 12 people to choose from, combination, and we were picking four. So on that last video, I wrote in C4. In would be 12, because that's our total uh, student amount, and we're choosing four. B in this case, there are 12 students to choose from. Only B was a permutation, and we were picking three people. C was a permutation because order mattered, and we were using all 12 people. So just to carry over the answers from the last problem, the first one we got an answer of 495. That was the answer to part A, the combination. That's the one we did last. Uh, part B, we got an answer of 1,320. Um, and part C, where we were doing the seating chart, that's the one that was 479,000,600. So let's um, do these in a calculator and see if we get the same answers. So here. Okay. Um, in order to do these in the calculator, you have to put in the two numbers, the N and the R value. I'm going to do part A. And the first thing you have to do is type in that N value. So I already have 12 typed in there. Now the probability keys, you have a key that says math, right underneath that green key, hit math. A menu comes up. All the way over you see PRB, those are your probability functions. Hey, you know what, let me mention, um, just because because it's on the screen, somebody was watching these videos and say, it looks like you have like a house arrest bracelet on, and uh, your students might think you're teaching online because it's a house arrest. Uh, I don't normally teach online, I'm a face-to-face, um, -face, you know, full-time professor at King. This is a Fitbit, um, so it's not a house arrest bracelet. Anyway, I just thought I'd mention that. All right, PRB stands for probability, so scroll over to get to those probability functions. And then it's a little bit hard to see if I um, just bring this up briefly. Well, that's not any help. You see the choice number, and you can see this on your own. Choice number two says NPR. Choice number three says NCR. And then you see the factorial, which you can use. So the first one, part A, was a combination. So I've got to scroll down to where it says NCR. Remember, you had to put in the 12 first. Now select NCR. And now give your calculator the R value, which for part A was 4. Hit Enter. And there's the 495, which was the answer we got for part A. For part B, we had a permutation. 12 things. We're choosing three of them. I'm going to do the same procedure. Type in 12. Hit Math. Go over to probability, go down to NPR, since this is a permutation. Give it that second number of 3 and hit enter. There's my 1320. Lastly, I had another permutation, 12, over to PRB, down to NPR. And I was using all 12 people to put them in a seating chart. There's the 479,000,600. So that's how to do this on your calculator.